Oh, so I'm, you're, I'm just launching into this. Give me an intro, set me up. You told us uh, you brought something special on the trip. What, what is it? Well, I brought something that maybe um, the, the canoeist camper crowd is possibly not familiar with too much uh, because it tends to be uh, customers who are more into tactical gear, um, law enforcement stuff that uses this stuff, but it's actually quite useful on a canoe trip. So I thought I'd bring some because canoeists may not be aware of it. What I have here are two uh, Maxpedition bottle holders. But what's cool with these is uh, the amount of gear you can store in these. This is a standard bottle holder with my squishy cup, uh, squishy cup silicone. So this is silicone, great, because it packs up small. You can squish it and it packs up nice and small out like this. Uh, put hot stuff in it, you won't get burned. They're, that's a cool product. Water bottle. But then, in the pocket here, you can store a whole bunch of other stuff. Six foot length of paracord, in case, in case, shoelaces or tying off a boat or whatever. Uh, Earplugs, because my tent was close to Ashley's tent and uh, gotta be sure I'm covered. Hand sanitizer, some Kleenex. Uh, Instaflame, great stuff, comes out of Quebec. Uh, made from slash wood, birch, uh, mixed with food grade paraffin. Burns wet or dry, that piece will go for 10 minutes, so you can cut them in half. Uh, in the summer I normally cut them in half, so you get like five minutes out of each. Fluff up the edges, you can hit it with a fire steel, you don't need to hit it with a flame. Great stuff, Insta flame. Bit of duct tape, fixing up bags or punctures. It's like a tickle trunk. A waterproof notepad, taking notes. You're gonna pull a rabbit out of there. Pen to write with as well. And I've got some water purification tablets. Now what's cool too is uh, it's got this Molle webbing, which is a US uh, military system. Uh, what's nice is you can attach this to other Molle packs or in the case of, uh, here I've got an Ostrom bag which uses the Canadian system, which is hook and loop, which isn't completely compatible with the American system, uh, but that's okay. We can make it work. You can actually tie Molle webbing into a hook and loop. It takes a bit more effort, but it is possible. So I've got my other bottle holder here, larger one, with some extra lengths of paracord, again, in the top. Fuel for my Trangia stove. I've got uh, a waterproof case with a compass on the top with an extra AA battery in there and a couple of Benadryls. So, so why is the Benadryl in with the battery? Uh, just I need some place to put it. I hear you, it should probably be in with the... I've got other Benadryls in the first aid kit. Are, are you addicted to Benadryl? <laughs> do you have an issue I should know about? <laughs> I do not. Set of fingerless gloves in case it gets cold in the evening. Deck of cards in case Mr. Callan's company gets a little dull. I, I won these at a, at a bar once. I was lucky and won a deck of Sleeman playing cards at, uh, at the Comedy Bar in Toronto. Is this when those. you were a rock star? No. Nope. You no, want to explain everybody after. when you're a rock star? <laughs> I've got a little screwdriver. You're, you're ignoring the rock star thing. Yeah, I am, yeah. So I got a little screwdriver. Your wife was also a rock star. <laughs> you got a screwdriver, yeah. Okay, got, so uh, you and your wife were rock stars match together. Match case. Wait, you're not, you're, you're you're not digressing, talking about You're it. digressing me and taking me off topic. Today, I know. Today we're talking about the wonders of about tactical... About you being a rock star no, with your wife. Tactical She was the lead here. singer. Tactical were you the drummer here. or bass player? Waterproof, stormproof matches. Did you have those when you played in the band? Waterproof case. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going down that road. <laughs> Was that one of your lead songs? <laughs> going, not going down the road. That Just reminds me. That flashing reminds me of like going at a bar and listening to a band. Extra carabiner, cutlery. It's not plastic. It's uh, vegetable cellulose. So completely biodegradable. Completely eco-friendly. What was the name of your band? <laughs> I have a full-size folding. Heli knife. Did you need to use a knife, knife when you were playing at some of the, uh, the <laughs> concerts? Some of those towns, it, it, would, it would have been a good idea to have one, yeah. A sharpening stone, which I will take to your knives. I, I won't uh, berate you for the state of your knives on camera, but finally I have a uh, multi-tool. So with these nifty little gadgets, not only can you carry all this out, look at everything you can get. And it's all right on the outside of your pack and handy. What was your favorite song when you were playing in the band? What did you open up with? What was your What was your opening song? 
Uh, generally speaking, we'd open the song called Life was the song we used to open with. And that's the last thing I'm answering about that. Were you the bass player? Can we please, get a, shot? Can we please shy, get a shot of all the amazing things I you will. can put so in your I will, as soon as you tell me if you're the bass player here. or lead guitarist. Lead guitar and vocals. Really? Yes. And you're shy? Were uh, you shy on stage? No. What was your thing? Uh, we were just straight ahead. Uh, well, it wasn't so straight ahead. Uh, rock and roll. Why are we going down this path? I wanted to talk about it. Tactical, we will. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Tactical canoe gear. It's fantastic. Tactical That's great gear. gear. Can we get a shot of everything that was in we there? We will. We will. You know how long it took me to pack all that stuff? It's a lot of that, stuff. So Tactical last question. Gear. Nothing against the band. No, okay. nothing, nothing about the band. So what made you think of doing that? Because um, I started using one of these I would attach to my food barrel. Uh, my water bottles on the food barrel and I would pack you know toiletries and stuff and it was really handy because it's right there Right on the side of the pack with the rummage in anything. It's right there and you can actually get a lot of stuff in there um, And I have this on my normal day pack So it's like well wait a second if I attach two of them. It's twice the place to store stuff um, And I just think it's something generally speaking customers who come in for this may not necessarily be canoe people, and canoe people may not necessarily know about this gear, but actually it works uh, very well. What do you mean customers? Like, So you, you own a store? I do, I do, yes. What store is that? That would be the Canadian Outdoor Equipment Company. So you went from being a rock star yeah. to owning well, the rock Canadian star, Outdoor Equipment. Rock star, let's say musician at any rate. Yes, to having an outdoor store, yes. <laughs> Did you get a shot of this stuff? Yeah. This is a bit of a, this is like an interrogation. <laughs> What was your, uh, when you were growing up, what was your favorite band? Rush. Rush. Why? Um, well, I think mean, that's a, if, if you're Canadian and a musician of my age, or, you know, that's just, how could you avoid it, you know? Great well, musicians, they're, you know, in a league of their own, and... What was your uh, least favorite? Band? Yeah. Oh, Matthew Good Band. <laughs> yeah. You don't like them? No. Okay, and last question, I'll turn the camera off. Right. What was your band's name? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not at Crossroad. No. I want to Google it. No, I don't want people to Is it on it. YouTube? Uh, there is a video on YouTube, yes. Yes. And how would we find that? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. This is your challenge. If you find out... <laughs> If you found out his band, uh, the name and the and the and the uh, YouTube, I will send you a, a Kelly Kelly st stove. There is a YouTube video of him playing with his wife. Yes. If you find out what it was, I will mail you. Doesn't matter where you live in the world, a Kelly kettle stove. 